Assalamu alaikum everyone, myself uh, Dr. Ayaz and today I will discuss with you a uh, short summary on how to uh, treat refractory neonatal hypoglycemia. So first of all, what is uh, hypoglycemia? According to Nelson, if uh, blood glucose is less than 55 mg per dl and uh, according to American Academy of Pediatrics for preterm infants or uh, infants with fetal growth restriction in first 24 hours uh, we call it hypoglycemia if blood sugars are less than 40 in uh, next 24 to 48 hours if it's less than 50 and after 48 hours if it's less than 60 milligram per dl now the definition of uh, refractory or persistent or resistant hypoglycemia if uh, neonate uh, is uh, uh, hypoglycemic for more than three days despite treatment or if neonatal uh, glucose requirement is more than 10 milligram per kg per minute now the question arises: how will you calculate glucose infusion requirements I'm giving you this simple formula which is percent of dextrose multiplied by volume in ml per kg per day multiplied by 0 0.0069 example if you are giving 10% uh, dextrose and volume of 120 so it will be uh, 10 multiplied by 120 multiplied by 0 0.0069 which will give you roughly 8 milligram per kg per minute now how will you escalate the therapy so first of all remember keep the blood glucose above 70 and uh, first step is to increase the volume for example if baby is on uh, 60 ml per kg per day you will go up by 15 ml per kg so for example from 60 to 75 and then from 75 to 90 or 90 to 105 ml per kg per day so then uh, so the increment should be with the 15 ml per kg and usually it is recommendation you should not go above uh, 120 ml per kg if baby is one or two day old and uh, just think of increasing the uh, concentration of glucose after that so after increasing the volume we will increase the concentration from 10 to 12.5 percent and then 15 percent and obviously if you are going above 12.5 uh, or 15 percent uh, there uh, uh, should be the central line and uh, which uh, um, which should be via uh, UVC or uh, peripheral inserted central line and when you are at 15% of glucose and uh, the glucose levels are uh, still below the reference range so think of starting the glucagon infusion as uh, disoxide plus chlorothiazide it will take 24 to 48 hours to work so first step will be to increase the volume then increase the concentration up to 15 percent then you can start the glucagon infusion and if still levels are not maintained you can think of increasing the concentration up to 18.5 or 20 percent because you can't increase the volume if you are increasing the volume and you are also starting the uh, uh, planning to start the uh, disoxide so there will be uh, fluid retention so uh, you are now on uh, uh, high concentration of uh, glucose uh, infusion and uh, you started the glucagon as well but still levels are not maintained then you will add disoxide plus chlorothiazide as well and uh, the recommendation are you should go for eco first before starting the disoxide as uh, it is associated with the persistent pulmonary hypertension and other side effects are uh, fluid retention and edema So, uh, uh, for example, the uh, blood glucose levels are maintained in uh, next uh, uh, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, so now, how will you de-escalate the therapy? So first of all, uh, uh, after discussion with metabolic endocrine team, uh, obviously try to discontinue the disoxide chlorothiazide first, and uh, then uh, uh, try to reduce the volume to less than uh, 150. 
and uh, after that uh, uh, stop the glucagon and after that you will decrease the concentration for example from 15% to 12.5 and then 10% and when you are in 10% then start thinking of uh, uh, introducing the uh, enteral feeds uh, uh, milk and you will replace the IV uh, volume to by uh, IV volume uh, volume of uh, fluids with the volume of milk uh, also some centers uh, uh, consider adding carbohydrate like polycal or maxijule to the feeds and uh, remember all these infants will require a pre-discharge trial of a six hour fast and uh, uh, and at some point uh, later on i uh, will post the uh, video as well on investigation of neonatal hypoglycemia so thank you very much references uh, nelson textbook of pediatrics archives of